In this video, we're going to take a look at selection in Word 2016. And before you watch this video, you should watch the one on navigation because this uh, depends on a lot of the stuff that's in the navigation video. So we're in the Alice in Wonderland document, and I'm at the top of the uh, first chapter. It's actually the top of page two because I got some title stuff up above. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to select stuff. And the obvious way to select stuff is just take your mouse and click and drag. And you can move up or down. Uh, sometimes it uh, moves a little bit too fast for you. And uh, so it's nice to have some alternatives for selecting. Uh, we can also use the mouse uh, to select uh, individual words. Just double click on a word like I just did. And it'll select the word. Uh, if you go over here inside the margin, you know, the I beam changes into a white arrow pointing at about 1 o'clock. When you do that, and if you click over there, you can select an entire line. If you click and drag over there, you can select multiple lines. That's a quick way to select lines. Uh, if you double click over here, it'll select the entire paragraph that you're pointing at. And if you triple click over here, let's just get rid of any selection here, and I'm going to click three times quickly, we get the entire document. If I go all the way down, everything in the entire document is selected. So that's selection with the mouse, and now we're going to look at selection with the keyboard, which is pretty handy sometimes. So um, the navigation keys are the four arrows, and it turns out that if I hold the shift key down while moving an arrow, I'm going to use the right arrow key. If you hold the shift key down while doing any keyboard navigation, it will select the text uh, that you pass over. So as I pass over items with the right arrow key one character at a time while I'm holding the shift key down, it selects all of those characters. And you can also go back in the other direction. I'm holding the shift key down and using the left arrow and do the same thing. Um, it also works with the up and down arrow. I'm holding shift down and pressing the down arrow key and then uh, going back the other way with the up arrow key. And if I'm down here and I hold the shift key down and hit the up arrow key, uh, I can select uh, in the up direction. And uh, there are four other ways to navigate with the arrow keys. If I hold the control key down and press the right arrow, uh, it does a word at a time. Now, if I do a control right arrow and hold the shift key down, so it's control shift and the right arrow, then it will select one word at a time as I pass over the words in my document. Okay? And uh, same thing, I'm going to do control shift and the left arrow, and it'll select words as I move backwards. Okay? Uh, now, I'm back at the top of the first paragraph here. And if I do control down arrow, it takes me a paragraph. And if I hold the shift key down, do control shift down arrow, I can select an entire paragraph at a time. And I don't have to worry about it scrolling on too fast on me. And if I go in the other direction here, let's move up, do control shift and then the up arrow, it selects one paragraph at a time. The other four keys that we use for navigation are page up and page down and home and end. So let's do home and end first. Uh, if I hold the shift key down, and takes me, normally takes me to the end of the line, but if I'm holding the shift key down while I do it, uh, it selects everything to the end of the line. And uh, let's go to the end of the line here. And if I hold the shift key down and hit home, it will select everything from that point to the beginning of the line as well. And if I am sitting here and uh, control and remember will take me to the end of the document. If I do a control shift and then hold the end key down, it selects everything from where I am to the end of the document. Okay. And if I am, yeah, let's move down just a little bit here. And if I do control shift and home, that selects everything from the cursor to the beginning of the document, or moves from the to the beginning of the document. And now if I hold shift key down while I do it, it selects everything from that point to the beginning of the document as well. Okay, And the last two keys are page up and page down. And if I hold the shift key and press on page down, you know, it moves one screen's worth at a time. And uh, let's click here and let's hold the shift key down and do page up. And that also selects one screen at a time going in the up direction. Now, 
If I hold the control key down and hit page down, uh, it'll take me one page at a time. If you look in the lower left hand corner here while I do a few more of these, uh, you'll see I'm going to page 5, and then page 6, and then page 7, and I'm going to go back up. Now, so control and page up and page down, I'm doing page control page up now, uh, move your entire page, and for some reason holding the shift key down uh, while doing that does not. I'm going to hold the control key down and the shift key down and then do a page down and it does not move me to the next page. It does not select anything. So this part appears to be inconsistent uh, as far as compared with all of the other navigation um, commands for moving around in Word. This one does not work to select an entire page at a time. Um, but those are uh, the basic keyboard options for selecting text in Word 2016.